Tigers and Warriors doing some clashing on the hardwood. Main event of the Richland Source Challenge. Mansfield looking for their fifth straight win. The exact streak Ontario was riding. That was before the opening tip of this one, though. Off-balance jumper from Daquan Hillary got the scoring started, which was important in this game because there wasn't a ton of offense to go around on either side. The great outlet this time by Hillary off the block shot leads to two more Tigers points. These ones scored by B.J. Patrick. Now it's Jordan L. Mans with the slick fish. Dontavious Burton does the rest, and Mansfield leads at 9-4 after the first. Second quarter, though, was all about that blue and gold. Jaden Jacobs, well, he likes his three-point plays the old-fashioned way. Hoop and the harm for the sophomore. Now Logan Jones hits him with a convincing up pick by now, and he cans the bucket for two. Very next possession, the senior staying on his work, eventually gets the friendly roll for a couple more. Jones would finish with 10 for the contest, and the Warriors would take a four-point lead into the break. Pretty left-handed bank job right here by Shaq Coburn. The Tigers would only score two points in the second, but they look kind of cool, so let's check them out right now. Man, sick around the back delivery on target to Hillary. 15-11 Ontario led at the break, and Joe Bailon, well, he had a message for his kids to start the third. Continue to make up to the box. They don't box anybody, they're just going to try to out-jump you. So get inside, rebound the basketball, let's get second chance out for two. Baylog's bunch would do just that. Jones crashing hard would get the rebound and the stick back. Then closing seconds of the frame would end just like this. Another Jones bunny. Warriors within two to start the fourth. So Marquis Sykes giving his guys a little pep talk before the final eight minutes. Box out. Box out. You got to be strong in the paint. Be tough. Don't get pushed around. Battle, battle, battle. Box, box, box. Secure the rebound. Then we solid. We solid in time and score. Here we go. Come on. And this is video proof right here. Breon Mills was taking in everything coach said. Strong baseline drive and the solid finish at the rim. Later on, Hillary can't hit, but Mills got his back again. Two more for him. The first seven points of the final frame all belong to the brown and orange, including these two by Patrick, who had a game high 13 in the contest, and the Tigers win it 44-36 to put both squads at 5-1 overall. And after the game, an unlikely recipient of the highly coveted T.Y. Hustle Chain. There were a few guys that probably could have had the hustle chain, and that's the way it always is. And, and I hope that every night that it's like that where the coaches is like, no, nah, I think he should get it, or no, nah, I think he should get it. That's how it should be. That means we got a whole lot of guys getting after it. But I don't know how this guy pulled it off. I got no clue. I got no clue. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Cash Raquan, hustle chain. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary dropped 11 points and pulled down a team high six boards to earn the bling. Five wins now for the TY Tigers before Christmas after finishing with just six W's for all of last season. So for those of you that do celebrate Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy your time off. Hey, we'll be back on Tuesday though, fellas. We'll be back on Tuesday. Hey.